Uh, let me start with you on this, Rod. Uh, it, when you hear the death penalty being suggested or urged in California, you know it had to be a horrific crime. But what do you make overall of the idea of, of uh, the softening of, 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 of the death penalty as a punishment? Right. Well, I can tell you, Charles, that the country is becoming more and more liberal. And as a result of that, we're seeing criminals get away literally with murder. And that's what we're seeing here when we see the reduction in the death penalty. Now, you know, for a number of years, there was a lot of concern as to whether or not the death penalty was going to be applied correctly and whether or not individuals that were sentenced to death, in fact, committed the crimes. But in today's environment, Charles, we are a lot better in, in making sure that we identify those people that commit these horrific crimes and they should be put to death. So, again, I think because of the ACLU and other liberal organizations like that, we're seeing criminals are just getting away with murder day in, day, day in and day out. And, Captain Ash, to that point, uh, you know, I see also in the media all the time these, these uh, documentaries about people who were in prison for a long time and turned out they didn't commit the crime and people feel bad and sorry for them. But whatever happened to sympathy for victims and the families of victims and the communities of those victims? Yeah, the victims pretty much have to take care of themselves, Charles, and that's just kind of a sad fact. But to take a, a point uh, that Rod brought up, you know, just because somebody winds up in jail, uh, it's probably not their first time. Um, the way things go, and you look at the statistics, you have to commit X number of crimes before you even get caught, and then it has to go through a prosecution, and then you have to be found guilty. So. Uh, you know, they don't just go out and pick people up standing right. in, in line at McDonald's. Normally, right. these, the folks that are in there are in there for multiple crimes, and when they get out, the recidivism rate's pretty doggone high. Yeah, that's true, too. And here's the thing also, Rod, you know, we're, we're talking about reinvigorating our country, reinvigorating, right. and I think it's like anything else. You've got to go to the grassroots and neighborhood by neighborhood. So one of the things I've seen and I saw when I lived in Harlem where people will commit horrific, tough, violent crimes. I mean, right. stab someone, shoot someone, kill someone sure. and go to jail and come back out in a short period of time. I, if you live in a community like that, you're you're under siege. I mean, you really have there's just nothing you can do. I, I think that we need and I hope uh, President elect Trump does something with respect to, to, to sentencing reform. In other words, violent criminals should go away for a long time, if not forever, and then some of these younger kids who are becoming violent in the joint maybe get them out sooner if they went to jail for selling $100 worth of weed. Well, you know, it's not only just sentencing guidelines, Charles, and I think you're absolutely correct about that. You know, it's these liberal judges that's allowing some of these criminals just to get out yep. of jail. Let me tell you real quickly, <clears throat> Charles, you got judges, and I'm saying this for a fact, you got some criminals that get out of jail before we as cops even finish filling out the paperwork. That's ridiculous. And I'm not talking about minor crimes. I'm talking major crimes. So we got liberal judges and we also have politicians that has not supported the police over the past eight years. And you know what? I hate to say this, but it is what it is. A lot of it stems from the Obama administration not supporting our law enforcement officers. And until we get back to supporting our law enforcement officers, get some stronger judges and some stronger laws in there. And I really believe Donald Trump is going to be right. what we need in this country to reduce that, to make that happen, Charles. C Captain Nash, taking the cuffs off the police force, no pun intended. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, again, what just happened down here in Washington, D.C., not that long ago, is uh, the chief of police, Lanier, resigned. And in part of her resignation statement, the interview that she gave to the press, yeah, she got a, a great job and she's looking forward to being chief of security for the National Football League. But she said one of the reasons that kind of pushed her out the door was the, was the rotating policy of people getting locked up put away, and then they're right back out on the streets again because the judges are, are the sentencing guidelines aren't being followed right. or they're letting them out. And because of that, she just got fed up with it.